today is February 21st. Today's quote is entitled, Show the Example. From your letter, I can understand that you are anxious to become a householder, and this is very good. It requires so many householders to set the example for others, how in Krishna consciousness we can live peacefully and sanely even in married life. Also, we require so many Krishna conscious children to show how nicely and beautifully a child can develop when he is following the principles of God consciousness. So this letter is an encouragement by Srila Prabhupada to a Grihasta and he's saying, he's not saying, oh, this is very bad, you got married, your life is <laughs> wasted now, you're just jumped into the dark well of Grihasta life and uh, who knows if you'll ever get out and it's just lots of work, lots of hellish existence and struggle, you know, go to Fifth Canto, read about it, you really got yourself in a mess. and. Um, if you ever make it out, give me a call. Prabhupada's not saying that. He's saying, oh, I'm very happy. We need Krishna conscious grihastas to set an example, and we need many Krishna conscious children. Now, in the early days of ISKCON, many, many of the devotees were brahmacharis. And later on, as time passed, more and more devotees got married, which is natural. And now we see worldwide, the majority, vast majority of devotees are married. And so, this letter is more relevant now than ever. So Prabhupada wanted exemplary grihastas who could show by their own lifestyle how other grihastas who they're trying to introduce to Krishna consciousness can live. Now Krishna consciousness has to be practical otherwise people won't do it. So they need practical examples of how these grihastas get along, they help one another, they serve one another, and their kids are wonderful, and their kids grow up well, and their kids are happy and well-adjusted and Krishna conscious. Every family wants that. And if we can show that, that in itself is extremely attractive to people in general. Don't you agree? It is. That's what people are looking for. And if we can't show that, that's going to be a huge stumbling block for people to become Krishna conscious. If they see devotees aren't well-adjusted materially, then they're going to think, if I become Krishna conscious, perhaps I will also become like them and also not well adjusted. They can't, they're not doing well in balancing the spiritual and material. Secondly, we say Krishna consciousness is the perfect philosophy. It's the solution to problems. So we have to show that we don't have the same problems that other people have, that we've used Krishna consciousness to solve those problems. If we can't show it, that's a problem. And lastly, as Prabhupada says here, children. It's a big problem to, in today's society. Children are being influenced by so many evil forces, as we know. And um, children who, are, who have high ethical and moral values, who have a, a good, strong spiritual foundation, are attractive, they're beautiful, and they're attractive to other grihastas, because every grihasta wants to raise their kids to be good people, and, and generally they want to raise them to have some kind of spiritual foundation. So, it's so important for us to do that, to show this to the world. So your service as a Grihasta is to do this. Don't think that Grihasta life is something kind of pushed to the side and get rid of. It's not um, useful or valuable as a preaching tool. It is, your, it is a major preaching tool, your life itself. So, it is an ashram. Try to perfect this ashram. If you can perfect this ashram, you become qualified for the next ashram, Vanaprast. You perfect that, you become qualified for sannyas, if you choose. This is the whole idea of ashram. Do each ashram well, you become qualified for the next ashram. And again, just to emphasis, this is an ashram in which we're going to be showing the world how to live in Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna.